Hello, ball bags. Uh, welcome to a very exciting night of snoop. I can tell you that right now. The results can send the table spiralling in any direction. Uh, it's incredibly exciting. Uh, sponsored, of course. Oh, no, Marmite Lid's got stuck to my camera. Ah, that's what's happened to Marmite Lid. I threw him in the bin and his face came off. Have I just moved that the wrong way? There we go. Is that better? Um, sponsored by Jurex, the rubber that erases your mistakes before you make them. I genuinely think that's a, a genius. Like, it's taken me a while to come up with one. I came up with that on Twitter last week. The rubber that erases your mistakes before you make them. And like, if Jurex UK, you can have that for free. Um, once you still owe me two million pounds prize money. Um, but that is yours, and I can guarantee you that will sell you so many Johnnies. You will not believe. You'll be. You yeah, have so much money, Ian Jurex. You, you will. It's good, isn't it? The, the rubber that. Because that's a name also for condoms, rubbers. But it also is like an, a name that you give to an eraser if you're watching in an, another country. It's a French letter. That you wouldn't mind seeing coming through your po your letterbox, ladies. That's for the ladies. Just made that one up. Not as good, but it's the, you know that, they can use that one. They can have that one for free as well. Um, anyway, um, welcome uh, to the snooker. It's very exciting. It's uh, we're uh, up to the sixth of seven matches now. This four of the players will have played six matches by the end of today, and. Um, Andy McH is uh, ready on the scoreboard. Apparently, is he says his broadband's gone down. I think he just can't be asked to do the scores. Uh, and he's using 4G, and he may be able to bring up uh, the table, uh, and um, he may be able to do the scores. But we'll see. It doesn't matter, does it? Because I I'm so good at keeping the scores anyway, so it doesn't matter. You don't really need Andy McH. Um, let's see if he can put the scoreboard the the table up because it's very exciting today. Me one is playing me eleven and me two is playing me thirty one. Me thirty one bottom of the table, interestingly, but in uh, in line for a million pounds at the moment with the highest break of eighteen. Absolutely astonishing, and the second highest break as well. If the you know, if if you feel like the agent is there, we go. Brilliant, Andy McH is a genius. Everyone's played five matches. Last week, female me was hovering around bottom place, very much in danger of, of going bottom. Yet if she beats me one today, she will have six points. It's absolutely astonishing. She'll be in second place just with a win today. A win of one point will put her in second place. And she's playing me two in the final game. If she can win by a decent margin today, if me two loses by a decent margin today, that could be an incredibly important match, of course. Me one, me three, me seven, me ten will be playing next week. So at least one of those players will, unless there's a draw, will be on eight points. Maybe two of them on eight points as well. We could see a lot of players on eight points. Female me on six points. But after tonight, there's a chance that female me could have rocketed into second place. That is very exciting. There's a chance me too must have thought it was in the bag. And it looks like it is. But if me 31, bottom place at the moment, can somehow beat me too... Yeah, I know, it seems impossible, doesn't it? But it's a weird thing with self-playing snooker is the player whose form has been very consistent can suddenly just lose against the bottom player, the player who's been playing badly, and there's no explanation for it. Uh, it's an astonishing thing. Anyway, oh, I should say uh, that uh, Geronimo, the Alpacas family, got in touch, uh, and after I translated what they were saying from Alpaca, I discovered they did not want... They felt that I was laughing at the Alpaca, which I definitely was not. Um... And uh, they don't want the, the name associated. Only two people have died today, according to Wikipedia, which is uh, narrows things down. I can tell you a hundred people could have died and I'd still be choosing the name. I hope Andy McGate has it in the scoreboard already. Yesterday, loads of people died. And there was some proper John Paul Belmondo, fantastic actor. Michael K. Williams, absolutely devastated by that. He could have been, had the arena named after him and he would have loved it. Dev he's brilliant in community as well as the wire and everything he did. Absolutely heartbroken by that. Donald Zeck, a hundred and two year old Daily Daily Mirror journalist, died yesterday. This is no good. Severin Yami Meshnin. He died yesterday. Today only Amir Zaman, and I wouldn't call him Amir Zaman. He was one of the best Zamans I know. 
Uh, the Pakistani politician uh, has died at the age of 65 from diabetes complications. But the arena has to be named, doesn't it? After Jahangabhat. Uh, Jahangabhat, <laughs> the Pakistani field hockey player and Olympic champion. So you can laugh all you like at Jahangabhat's name. but um, And I would never do that because I respect... He is a uh, Olympic champion, presumably has a gold medal. Well, had a gold medal. He might be buried with his gold medal. Might have it. Might have sold it on to someone. I don't know. I don't know what he's done with it. How do you hang your butt? Do you hang your butt here? Do you hang your butt there? It's not appropriate to do jokes like that. The man has literally just died. Um, 78 years old. Uh, the chat room says at least he had children. Let's have a look. Doesn't say that he did. did. Uh, on his Wikipedia page. 1943 to 2021. Uh, he won a gold medal at the 1968 Summer Olympics and a silver medal. Not as good. Two finals consecutively, though, in field hockey. Must have been a decent player. It is time. 78 years old. Yeah, and I'm sure Jahangir Butt's family will feel that this was a fitting tribute to him. Um, so, yeah, look, I wanted, to, I kind of want to get on with this. I think this is very, very exciting. Um will just be if me too wins i mean his goal difference is, is plus 82 um female me you know is the next best goal difference weirdly even though she's low down the table in sixth at the moment um if he can win by a decent amount i think it'll be very hard to knock him off that top spot because people will only be able to equal his points he's playing me 31 in the second match can me 31 bounce back can't possibly win i don't think uh even statistically, only two more games to play. Yeah, he can only get up to six points maximum and has a terrible goal difference. It would be an amazing story if me 31 beat me 2. But me 1 versus me 11 another, and is an amazing time. Um, me 1, the normal man, of course. Me 11, female me. And I know her fans will be really cheering her on. Uh, me 1 seemed like a good guy, didn't he, when it all started? But just little indications of nastiness come through um let's meet i don't do i have to do anything else i mean i've done the durex thing i haven't sung any baron knight songs i can't think of any new ones uh i could sing the lost islands theme tune but I, that's a rahala stuff of thing um i think we just want to see the snooker we've got to that point haven't we there's 144 viewers in here at least that's my current sc updated score um not very many, but it's a hot day, and I am hot uh, in every sense. Let's let the snooker do the talking. I can see Me One is just sitting down in the interview chair. Let's go over to him now. Hello, Me One. Hi there, Richard. Lovely to be here. Um, hoping that uh, I can, uh, you know, challenge Me Too today. I do need a win today. Me Too does look like he's pulling away, and um, yeah, I'm in, I'm in uh, fifth place at the moment. It looks bad, doesn't it? I'm minus twenty-seven. I've got the worst goal difference. But I've got six points. I've got three wins. So if I win today, four wins. I'll be up with me too if he loses. Challenging for him if he wins. So um, that's my mission is to win. And uh, how do you feel about the Conservative government uh, raising national insurance? I think it's good. I think um, I think they it should. You know, we've all had a tough year, and I think um, you know they could tax rich people like me, but. Um, you know, you tax rich people a bit. You don't bring that much in. Tax poor people, there's even a little bit. That's a lot of money. So it makes much more sense to raise the money for uh, nurses and doctors and stuff. Well, you know, t he's turned out to be a lot more right wing than I would have ever expected would be uh, within me. But um, as someone says they hate politics and sport. It's fine for people on the right wing to talk about their politics. It's, it's not OK for left wing people. To, that's you say, I uh, leave leave just get on with the snooker you can say to a left-wing person but not to a right-wing person um so uh yeah well let's leave the politics behind for now uh me want well you know donald trump had the right idea i think did he yeah you know you have changed a lot i suppose as we get older it's been, we've been doing this for a long time and what are you now how old are you now 54 oh i am as well um i suppose you do you know, t traditionally do move to the to the right, uh, but it's still it's still sad to see it when it happens. Um, uh, do you think you can win today? I have to win, and I will win. And um, 
for me, 11 may be very pretty and you know, that might turn a few people's head. I'm a very happily married man. My wife is waiting for me downstairs. Uh, I've got two lovely kids. I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in, interested in bending her over that table and giving her a good scene too. That is all I'm interested in. Thank you very much. Um, and let's talk to me, 11. I am gonna, I'm sorry, me, one was, uh, that could be construed as sexist, what he said there. Uh, she's just sitting down now on a lovely uh, derriere. And here she is. Uh, yep, yeah, Richard, thank you. Um, good to see you supporting November. Yeah, I'm supporting, ironically, I've got it on backwards. So, I, because um, I support International Women's Day, I'm a woman, not November, which is a whole month, and that doesn't seem fair when women only get a day. When's International Women's Month? It's a good question. When, well, when will women's cancers be treated with fairness, given they're much more serious and deadly than the male ones? Well, you know, you're talking to the wrong person there, uh, ME11, because, uh, you know, even though male cancers are more treatable and maybe rarer, that, you know, they can still have a massive impact. And uh, I will support... I'd supported November last year without realising I was actually helping myself out. So, you know, that's the nice thing about it for me. Uh, but look, let's let's not get into a battle of the sexes. You are playing me one who's a man and a horrible man. Do you think you can defeat him? I do, Richard. I have to defeat him. I'm, you know, it's, it surprises me that. Um, I love the way you're just flicking your hair there. I just want to say, look, yeah, oh, that's. I'm just acting like any of the other me's. Just leave me alone. Um, I was surprised to see that I could be in second place today. It just blows my mind, and I know that uh, that won't be the case at the end of next week's. Uh, frames but uh, still in a position where I can really challenge I can take me one out I, I know I've disappointed my fans um, with uh, you know with with uh, with some of the matches but uh, if I can just win these last two there's even a chance I could win the whole thing that's the delicious uh, irony here uh, it's very exciting for me there's it, it it takes a lot of results going my way but uh, I, I can do my bit by winning the final two frames well lovely talking about uh, snooker with you there that's uh, you know it's good to see that that's your main interest because that's what this is about let's go over to commentator one commentator two here in the jahangyabut uh, arena um and uh, let the oh actually before we do that me 11 do you want eye up or eye down uh can i have eye up please yeah it's a traditional thing to do it's eye down so uh uh yeah do we cut to me one what do you want to go first or second i'll go second please wow that's uh so me 11 to go first we'll leave me one on the top andy mckh may not be doing the score so this could get nasty uh because it's the wrong way around so me 11 will open hello richard yes here we are in the jahangi but sorry to see him go he was a candle in the wind um and uh yeah me 11 to break in this clash of the titans one of them's a tit the other one has tits lovely tits uh so that's where i've come up with that and um let's see if me 11 can uh, overcome the curse of going first she's starting with the keyboard a little bit further back than usual and that has worked well for her or oh, has it oh nearly pots the black but doesn't me one coming up to the hockey he needs something special here. Oh, does not get it. And has he set me 11 up? He has not really, I don't think. Me 11 going for something quite difficult. Oh, no. Oh, nearly goes in off. No points so far. Amazing stuff. Me 1. Oh, me 1 hit that much too hard and messed up there. Could have got a, a pot there. Me 11 tries a plant. It doesn't work out. Me 1 has spotted something. And look at that. And oh, has he just gone a little bit too far for the for the black? He's going for the blue. I think that's a risk. Did he touch the red there? He's got away with it, but he did. Me one opens the scoring. Kagli ding, kagli ding. Me one, one, me 11, zero. But uh, he's set up there. Controversy already with the referee missing that. But me one, me 11 doesn't care. She's just getting on with the job. And you could have looked, oh, me 11. That could be the mistake that she looks back on and regrets. She gets one point, but she gives away five, going in off off the blue. Gaggly ding, gaggly ding, me one, six, me 11, one, and me one. Can he capitalise? He's doubling. Oh, what a shot. I thought he was doubling, but actually he was using that to distract the opposition, and he potted a red into the top. Right-hand pocket. He's flying. 
Down for the green. Oh, he's missed it. Uh, it's too early to call, but it's 7-1. To me, one, according to Robot Voice. Me, 11. Oh, she's cut that too, back too far. And uh, maybe she's intimidated by the occasion, me, one. Oh, has he done it? No, he's just left it over the pocket. Hanging like um, something in the news. Me 11, she's potted. Is she gonna go in off? Oh no, a second in off. That's devastating. This could be all over for me 11. She was eyeing that second place. And I was eyeing her second place, I have to say. But now she could be down at the bottom as me one. Oh, me one goes in off. He pots the red but goes in off. And uh, that's the thing. You never know when one of these players could mess up. Calculating, calculating, meet one, 11, meet 11, five. Me 11. And there's an easy red to the top as long as she doesn't go in off afterwards. She hasn't. Beautiful play. The green's possible is the pink. She's gonna go for the pink. I can see what she's thinking. Oh, she's, no, me 11. Why? Me 11 has gone in off off the pink. I'd like to go in off her pink. Two. Me, one. La oh, didn't even look down at that and cracked in a beautiful red. Oh, he's not done the, he's not done justice with the with the pink. That could have put this frame to bed. Calculating, calculating, me one, 18, me 11. Calculating, 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 six, me 11. No luck for me 11. Me one. You know, he can, he can still win this tournament. Anyone really, apart from those two at the bottom, me 11 could win this. That's what makes the European Super League of self-playing snooker so exciting. And me 11 could be getting the first, I think the first two ball break of the match. She's got it. She may have snookered herself in the process, but she's got a break of four. It'd be a shame to give away but for more than four here, which she might do. She's gonna come off the top cushion. Oh, nicely done. Nicely done and got another snooker, I think. So that, me 11 is not going to give up this fight easily. Me one, he needs this. He hits the red. That's all he had to do. Me 11, slightly snookered, but this, she gets out of it nicely. And don't think me one can do much with this and set, go for another snooker. Oh, she's messed up. Me 11, can she leap on this chance? Oh, I can't believe her bad luck. She pots the red, but she also pots the yellow. And that's about the fourth time this has happened to her. Only four points this time, but again, just when she was looking, she was getting back into it. Calculating, calculating. Me one, 22, me 11. Oh, only 10, that is not as many. And uh, me one snookered, so can use any color as a red. Oh, he's gone in off, he potted the yellow, but he's gone in off, so hope. There's a lot of going in off today from both players. They're both playing equally badly, weirdly. Usually one player has a bit better luck than the other. That's 14 plays to 22. And me 11, I think, has an opportunity here to maybe get a snooker. Oh, she's got, she's hit that too far, too hard, got overexcited. And me one, oh, just, he's not going down. He's not looking at his shots, maybe overconfident. Me 11 does go down. Oh, she's potted the yellow again. This is, I was gonna do a going down joke. Oops, got ruined, uh, me one. Did have a straight red, but I think the yellow might be in the way. He's gonna go for it. He thinks he can get it through. He can't, he was wrong. Or was he? Oh, it's left very tantalizing for me, 11. She's potted. She needs this, she needs this, and her fans need this. None of the big point colors are really up for grabs. She's going for the yellow. She's missed it. Oh, she gets one point. It's 26 plays 15. Me one. Well, as far away from this yellow as it could be. Oh, just, just he whacks it. 
but he's left the cue ball. Is he sort of done the reverse? Cue ball at the other end of the table. Me eleven. I don't know what she was thinking there. She's set up, set him up. Not an easy pop, but oh, he missed the yellow. It got it on the rebound. Incredibly lucky. Me eleven has gone in off. The yellow is absolutely causing us some problems today. She's gone off in off on the yellow. It's thirty place fifteen. Me one has double the points of me 11 who needs to get some goal difference up here. Me one, he's got a snooker I think by luck rather than guile. It's a very good snooker. Me 11 could be in trouble here. She's coming off the top cushion. So close, unlucky. She is now 19 points behind, 34 plays 15 and me one. Looking confident. Oh, he missed the yellow again and got it on the rebound again. He's being so lucky. Me 11 needs these points. <sighs> She's potted the yellow. She's finally got that out of the way. Can she get the green? Oh, had a good try there. Two points is not enough. Oh, sorry, two points. She's up 17, plays 34. Uh, she has rather set me one up here for the green. And I think a couple of colors here and me one's got this. He's got the green. Has he snookered himself? No. Nope. Oh, no, sorry, I keep on putting it in the wrong one. It's now 20 points between these players. 37 plays 17, 22 points on the table. Can me 11 pot all these four balls? Maybe right now, all in a row. No, oh, what a disaster. She's gone in off again and she now needs a snooker. 41 plays 17. Me one, you can see him, he knows he's got this. He just needs to pot a couple of balls. He's just hit the brown quite hard. Clever, because it's oh, nearly a snooker. Me 11 needs a snooker, remember. Can she get one? That's not a snooker. Me 1. He just needs to pot. Not make a mistake. Me 11 needs something very special here. Only four balls on the table. Oh, she's just not getting the luck. Nearly. Nearly knocks the cue ball in again. Me one's gonna try and double it. Oh, he'll probably get a snooker just by knocking the balls around. Me 11, who's playing much more subtly. Oh, she's put that right over the pocket. And I don't think it's a snooker. It might be. Oh, me one missed it, I think, put off by the black. And me 11 breathes to live another day. Me one. Oh, the the brown jingles and jangles in the pocket, but does not go down. Me 11, playing some safety here. Not very effectively though, me one. You can just wait for your opponent to make an error. Me one comes close to a snooker, but does not get it. Me 11, trying to get the brown ball behind one of these colors, fails again. Me one, come on, you just need to pop this brown, me one. Oh. Dangerously close to pot in the back, but the black's in a danger position now. Me 11 has to watch out, but she can maybe use that to her advantage. Oh, she's done well. Me 1. Oh, he came off the bottom pocket, bottom cushion to avoid putting the black. Very nice. Me 11. Oh, she tried to get behind the pink, but she's literally just set. Oh, it's a little bit hard. And actually, me one, it was has missed it entirely. It's missed the, the, the brown. <sighs> me 11 is now just 20 points behind. It's back on. This is back on. The brown over the pocket, the black over the pocket. Can me 11 pull off the comeback of the century? She's got the brown. She may just have snookered herself. She really has, but she might even pop this blue here off the snooker. Oh. She nearly did, and she's gone in off. Oh. <laughs> it's now 21 points between these two players. Too many in offs for me, 11. The blue right over the pocket, the black right over the pocket. Me, one has potted the blue. He comes down. This could be the million pound break. He could equal the million pound break here. Oh, he's missed the pink. Oh. Gets an incredible snooker. <laughs> you would not think it was possible. He's managed to get around the black. The pink is behind. Me 11 is done for. She, ah, 
She's potted the pink. She just had to hit it and she hit it and it pocketed it. She can get a break of 13 to end on, which she does. That at least gives her some kind of goal difference to look forward to. 51 plays 38. Me 11's dreams of glory are over. Me one in the meanwhilst winning by 13 is now dreaming of winning this whole tournament. What do you think, commentator two? I think it's the same person playing themselves at snooker and it's kind of irrelevant, just it's luck who wins. Now, that's very much not the vibe we're getting in here in the, in the studio, in the chat room. Uh, people really enjoying this 5138. Uh, plus 13 to me one. We'll see what effect that has on the scoreboard in a minute. Back to you, Richard, in the studio. Well, poor me 11. I guess we built that up a bit too much. There was too much talk of what could happen if she won that frame. Um, she's lost another frame. She's now in danger of relegation once again, sadly. Um, but... Uh, Yeah, I'm sad. I, you know, I love her. I love her. I prefer her to me one. If I had any influence over who was winning this, me 11 would have won that every day of the week. But she made too many mistakes. When you think there's only 13 points between these two, she played the better snooker, but she just knocked in too many in-offs, didn't she? Too, there was about 20 points at least in errors there. Probably more. And me one did not play particularly well. Um, Let's talk to me, Eleven. How are you feeling? Well, let's see if the let's see if we can get the uh, leaderboard up. See if Andy McH has managed to adjust that. Uh, if he hasn't, I might be able to tell you it with my mouth. Um, it means that me won with eight points now, but having played six matches, uh, is he has got minus 14 so he's behind me too even though me too have played one less match but of course me too could lose and if he loses by a lot we'd have to be able to there we go uh it's me one who finds himself in second uh and me 11 sixth place she's playing for mid-table respectability now she cannot win this tournament any longer there's two players already out of a rich reach and next week there'll be at least one more who will be on eight points. Um, she can really only hope for maybe fifth. Fourth or fifth is really her best, and she has to hope that she does not get knocked out. If me 31 does meet me too, well, things are going to start looking a bit hairy. Um, not her armpits and vagina, just for her. So let's talk to me, what, 11? Got to be a sad day for you, me, 11. How are you feeling? Well, Richard, I'm feeling annoyed that the... Uh, the league table is still over my face. Uh, it's not nice to see myself in uh, sixth place. Um, I'd rather see myself there. I am. Um, yeah, no, gutted. Uh, I, I made too many mistakes. You, you called it. Um, uh, I was. I played better. I am better than me one. Me one just uh, was on the good fortune of a lot of my balls going in the wrong pockets and. Um, yeah, I'm, I am gutted. It's it's terrible to have a uh, possibility of victory still there and then to throw it away. Uh, I just have to concentrate on not getting in the bottom two now. And uh, all I can hope, uh, good luck to me too, is all I can say in the next match. And uh, I, I will have to beat me too in the, uh, in the final frame to ensure progression for me to stay in this league if it continues next season. I mean, it almost certainly won't. I mean, I think we might go back to me one versus me two, but, you know, now lockdown's over. This seems like a weird thing to be doing. Well, Richard, I'm enjoying it. I'm sure the 157 people tuning into this don't want to feel that their lives are meaningless and sad and they should be doing something better with their time. Um, they're invested. And, you know, I'd, would you hang your butt? Just give in when he looked like he was going to get a silver medal the second time? Maybe he did because he didn't win, but, you know... I'll come back. I'll come back stronger. I, I apologise to all my fans. I apologise to anyone who bet pretend money on me. You must be feeling bad. Back to you. Thanks, uh, me eleven. I'm gutted too. Uh, but we would do get to see me eleven one more time. Uh, she'll be in two weeks' time. We'll see her play me too. Um, and 
Let's talk to me one. Very good news for me one in second place in the league table. How you f and he's going to be second but at the end of today. There's no way he can lose that position. How are you feeling, Richard? Top of the world. I mean, this is uh, this is what I want. I want a world where those with the ability uh, progress onwards. We don't have to have a level playing field. Going, oh, women have to be as good as men. They're not as good as men. I've just proven it by 13 clear points, and um, you know, I'm the elite champion. And I, I intend to win this. Uh, if Me Too loses now, uh, and uh, and Me Eleven beats him next next time they play, which I think is very likely. She's you know she's not a bad player for a girl. Um, then it could still be mine. I need to improve the goal difference, but uh, my final frame, Me Thirty One. You know, I'm looking that I can win that by sixty or seventy clear points. To be honest, not if you played like you did today. You were awful. Well, was I, Richard? Because I'm looking at the score and I'm seeing I won, which means I'm good. Yeah, but all those points came from me, 11, messing up. Well, that's not my fault, is it? That's her fault. So I'm happy to take it. I'm going to go and uh, celebrate my making love to my wife. I won't be thinking of me, 11, while I'm making love with her. I'll be thinking of my wife. Um, and anyone who says I'll be thinking of me, 11, is very much mistaken. Okay, well... Uh, as referee one sets up be behind us, presumably, I'll just take a sip of peppermint tea. Mm. A bit cold, but it still works. Uh, let's um, meet the players for the next frame. Me too. And me 31. Two very different players in very different situations. Um, I don't know which me 31 we'll get. I mean, I hope it's not the Geordie one for my own sake. Uh, me 30, me 2, top of the table. Me 31, bottom of the table. But me 31, highest break of the tournament so far. Let's talk to me too. It's just sitting down. How you doing, Richard? I'm doing great. Uh, I don't care that me one won that one. Um, I'd rather, to be honest, uh, me one was it, it was pressing against me than me eleven, who I think is an excellent player. Um, I don't think it makes any difference what you've got between your legs. Um, whether there's nothing there, whether you've lost a testicle, doesn't doesn't change who you are. It doesn't change your snooker ability. I want to say there are a lot of people. When this European Super League started, said I shouldn't be in this. They said my record was not good enough in tournaments, that I'd never got anywhere in any tournaments. Well, who's laughing now? They laughed when they said I was going to be the top. Now, who's laughing now? It doesn't work as a joke in snooker so much. But um, I'm here. I'm, you know, not saying I'm queer, but I'm not saying I'm not queer. I don't mind. Uh, I am. Don't mind what people think. I'm not queer. I'm heterosexual. Um, I'm prepared to experiment. Maybe in group sex. Um, when I watch pornography, there are dicks in it. I'll look at them. I don't know what that means. But I'm imagining it's my own dick, usually. There's the two dicks. And I'm imagining they're both my dick. So I'm, I think I'm not queer, but I'm saying it wouldn't matter if I was. Um, and I've proved the, the critics wrong. I can basically win this tournament tonight. It will be, it will mean the last three weeks are uh, slightly a bit of a damp squib, but uh, I should be able to take out me 31. And there's a lot of kids. Remember, a lot of kids are getting COVID. Uh, it gets everyone. It can kill anyone. Not of my kids out there. Not my own personal kids. I don't think it might be. You know the way I've, I live my life. Uh, but they're out there in hospital watching this. Uh, that 169 viewers currently watching probably 163 kids in hospital with COVID wanting me to win. And I'm going to win for you. It doesn't matter that I'm top of the table. I want to I want to get clear at the top and I want to win this thing. I wish I'd won it without losing anything, to be honest. But uh, you can't have everything you want. And I will, I will win this. And me one's the nasty guy. I'm the good guy. Let's get on with it. Let's do it, Rich. Let's let the snooker do the talking. Well, yeah, indeed. Well, we'll have to talk to me 31 first, of course. Uh, Geordie me. Me 31, though he is usually overtaken by Sam Beckett from Quantum Blue. We don't know if that will happen this week. We don't know if Sam Beckett has any plan. Maybe it's to win the million pounds for the highest break, which seems likely at the moment. No one's getting close to beating that. Um, and... Um, uh, maybe there's just no plan. I don't know what's going on. Me 31, how you feeling? Why, Irish? Well, I'm feeling all right, man. Because, uh, you know, I've come down from Newcastle again and uh, uh, to play snooker. And, uh, you know, so far, every time I've come down here, man, they, uh, I've, uh, I've not got to play. 
because some Canadian actor from the future, is, uh, Scott McCool, has got inside me. OK. I uh, hope he turns up soon, because uh, that accent is... Why, I? Well, um, you know... Yeah, I do know. So, uh, yeah, we, at the moment, you are on course to be uh, one of the millionaires from this tournament. You can't be a double millionaire because you cannot no longer win the tournament. But unless someone comes up with an amazing break uh, in these last few matches, you are going to win a million pounds from our sponsor, Jurex. Um, uh, Jur... Jur... Jurian? No, I can't get it. Jur... Jur... Do you, do you want a condom? <laughs> it's not going for well. Uh, so, uh, you know, a million, what would you do if you have that million pound? Why, I'm a well, I don't think I can take it, can I, man? Because I didn't do that 18 break or the 17 break. It was uh, Sam Beckett from the future. So, <laughs> really, I mean, do you think he might turn up? No, we're not. He's not. Why don't I play today? See if I can actually win. Well, I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but uh, it seems at the moment we've got Geordie Me versus uh, Me Too. Um, let's uh, toss the c cocky carrot eye. Uh, Geordie Me, would you like ha eyes up or eyes down? Oh, man, I think I'll go for I, uh, Doon. He's Doon. Uh, it's eyes up, so uh, Me Too, first or second? I'll go second. Me Too going second. Uh, we'll go right over back to the board where presumably it's all set up now, so let's have a look. Good luck. Me 31 and me too. You know, this is a very... It, it will ruin the, sh the sport if he wins, I guess. But let's see. Well, Richard, uh, sorry. Referee 1 got called into the referee's office to discuss. Early on in that frame, me too did seem to appear to touch a red, which would have changed the whole complexion of the game frame, wouldn't it, if it had been spotted, but uh, was not spotted by the referee. If it did, even if it happened, it's not for me to say. I'm just watching... It was the lightest of touches, if it was a touch, but um, controversy reigns, and uh, referee one may have been chastised. So he's well. It's good though; it gives us a rare opportunity to see the snooker board being set up by a professional. Uh, he's again not still not found the right size triangle, but he's because he's a professional. He's working around that. Uh, by the way, Twitch of fun uh, may be back on uh, Thursday in some. This might be a soft launch. Uh, maybe just uh, chat with a few of the puppets, see how they're getting on. Uh, Richard Herring, who performs that show with the puppets, uh, a lot of work on not getting, not doing very well with his work and a lot to do. So uh, he, uh, he can't really devote much time to Twitch of fun, but he's twitching to get back into it. So one of my favourite shows. What about you, commentator too? No, I don't like it. I find it uh, childish and pathetic. Well, I like, I think, I like uh, the king of the universe. I'm the king of the universe, that's what he says. I like the goonie bird. And he goes, beep, beep, I think. I can't remember what he does. He sort of attacks him. Here comes me 31, currently not Sam Beckett. And a uh, pretty good player, it turns out. Nearly pots a red there. Me too. A man on the edge of glory. This is a difficult long shot, and he's potted it. That's the, that's the kind of guy we're working with. Even a draw here could see him progress. Oh, and that's a disaster for me too. He gets one, very nearly pots the black, but the cue ball pushes through. And me 31, playing as Geordie me for the moment is 7-1 up. Here he comes again. Me too. Oh, another fantastic pot. And again, pushes it. That, he could make up for all his mistakes here. If you can just get this, nudge this black in. It's not a difficult shot. And is he on another red? I think he is. This could be almost a maximum break here. Uh, this could break me 31's heart if he not only... Clears all the balls, he'll get the other million pounds. This could be a two million pound shot. Oh, no, he's, he's missed this next red quite by quite some distance. But a break of eight, highest break of tonight. Calculating, calculating, me two, nine, me 31, seven. Me 31, yet to pop, but still very close. And oh, somehow misses that one. 
I admired what he tried to do. Me too, doing a plant and he's got it in. He's come down for the pink. His positioning is very good. He's gonna try and double that pink. He's missed it, he's messed it up, but he's got another point. And every point he gets is a point closer to... He won't win tonight, but it'll be very hard to catch him if he, if he wins. Oh, me 11, beautiful pot. Sorry, me 31, I was back thinking back to me 11. Me 31 has potted the red. He's potted a pink. He's got the second highest break of the evening. Can he make another high break? He's, that's his speciality. No, he doesn't, he's not confident about getting this red in. He's gonna go for it. And yeah, that's what he was worried about. He's gone in off. He scores seven, goes up to 14, but gives away four. Calculating, calculating, me two, 14, me 31. Also 14, it is a tie currently. And me too. Mm, he spotted a easy get red at the top. He's potted it, nudges the black. Mm, not nothing of any useful here for him, I don't think. Can he get this yellow in without going in off? Yes, he can. Nicely done, actually. Me too. He's just playing sensibly. It's not his hurricane, strong, strong breeze image. He knows what's at stake here. Actually, he's not really going to be able to get this red. I don't think he's going to go for it. It's a danger. Could hit the black instead. Hasn't got the red, but he's got to break a three. He's in the lead. Me 31 playing as himself for the first time ever. Oh, fucks that up. Could have done with a computer from the future to help him with that shot. He just snapped at it. Me too. Not much he could do there and he doesn't do much with it. Me 31. He's sent the balls flying around the table. Me too. Oh, not bad, but he doesn't, he's not, it's not over yet, me 31. Oh, trying to get that yellow there and hits. Hits the, hits the yellow instead of the red rather. It's 21 place 14, I believe. And it's me too. Now in the ascendancy, he should win this, surely. Surely he can beat me 31. But he hasn't really given himself much to go on here. He's just gonna go for a snooker, I think. Maybe not a bad one, he's up to 22. 22 plays 14, me 31. First time he's ever played snooker. He is snookered. Oh, very bold. Hits the red right next to the black. Gets it, even though he's snookered, me too. Oh, snaps at that, messes it up. Me 31. He's gone in off. And this is, could be the story of the night. Me too. I mean, if this is his march to glory, what a march it's been. What a life he's had. He's potted a red. Come up the table, sorry, the board. He's on the pink. Just has to be careful, doesn't go in off for this one. Oh, just trying to get on the next red and misses that pink. Sets up me 31 with a possible break of but yes, look at that. Me 31 cannot, me, oh, but was that the tactic all along? Me 31 trying to pull the cue ball after putting the easy pink. Goes in off. And uh, he would have been on a lovely break there, but it's 33, plays 15. Me too, must be able to almost taste the, t the flavor of all the sex he's going to be having if he wins this tournament. Oh, and that flavor of sex just put him off on that shot. Me 31. No, not, not, not a good shot. Where's Sam Beckett? Where is he? Me too. Me 31. Sends the balls flying around the table. Me too. He is playing a much more sensible game. Just trying to accrue points there. He's got to break a five. He's not looking for the million pounds tonight, I don't think. He's just trying to find his way. He can't get this red. Can he get a snooker? He hasn't got a snooker, but he's got another five points in the bag. 
Calculating, calculating. Me, two, 38. Me, 31. Ah, calculating, 15. Me, 31, still within. Oh, what a shot. Sam Beckett would never have got that. Doubles the red into one of the pockets. Oh, trying to get on the, and look at that. That was a good shot to get on the, where the yellow would have been if he potted that, but you need to pot them. And he did not pot the yellow, which was pretty easy. He has got a snooker, I think, by luck rather than any. Oh, and me too, misses by a mile. I mean, so far that I think he's going to be called back to take that again. He's about there, wasn't it? So me too, plays, has to play again. And he's missed again. He gives eight points. Eight valuable points for me 31, who now has a clear shot at the yellow. Oh, he's missed it entirely. What a disaster. So it was looking good for him, but it's 42 place, 24. And me too likes the look of this yellow. Oh, he hasn't got it, but he's... Me 31 playing as himself for the first time. He's potted the yellow, nearly goes in off, doesn't. Tries to double the pit, the green into the centre pocket, misses it, sets it up a bit. He moves up to 26. Me too. It's not over yet. 25 points on the table. Oh, me too. Misjudges that pit, that green. And me 31. Oh, lovely, delicate touch. Pots the green. Tries to double the brown into the centre pocket. Fails, but he's creeping up. 29 points, plays 42. Me too, looked like it was all in the bag. Just needs to pot a couple of these. Oh, he's potted the black. Me too has potted the black and that is a disaster for him. He's now only six points clear. Me 31. Was this Sam Beckett's plan all along? Oh, misses a pretty easy brown right down the table. Me too. He thinks he can get this brown, let's see. He's right. He could get the break. He could get the maximum, the highest break here. He's got two fifth, two quarter, two qu half of it. Very easy. Oh no! He was a bit too close to the black, to be fair. But uh, scores nine valuable points, takes him up to fifty-one. Playing thirty-six. We're just trying to do the maths here. Oh, the, a snooker is required for me thirty-one who gets, the, could have potted that pink. Oh, but he's lucky he hasn't lost his record. Me too. Surely the favorite now as me, 31, struggles to make a snooker. And that is not a snooker. That is a pretty easy shot for me too. He's missed it. Oh, it hangs on the lip like a sort of lip ring hanging on the lip of a punky girl. Me 31, bats it away. Me, thir me two has another easy pink and he's missed it again. The pressure getting to him, me 31. Oh, incredibly scoops <laughs> the ball. And that should have, that should be the end of it. He completely miscued that. Maybe turning into Sam Beckett just at that point. And me too, now it's, now it's just a formality. He pots that pink. I don't think he can get this black unless he can double it. He tries to double it. He's miles off. He gets six more points. It's a comfortable win. 63 plays 36. Palindromic. 63, 36. Me too. Cruising to victory. Can anyone catch him? There would have to be someone who wins all their remaining matches. I do not like their chances. That is a victory of seven something, 720. Another plus 27 to add to Me Too's already impressive goal difference of 82. It takes him up to plus 109. The nearest to him, well, no, nobody is anywhere near that absolutely crushing opposition. He's surely, it's, the crown is his now, surely. No one really expected me, 31, to win that, but uh, gave it a good go. Could have done it right till the end.
but then fucked it up. Back to you, Richard. Any comments, commentator too? No, it's the same person, so it doesn't make matter. All right, stop ruining it. Back to you, Richard. Thank you. Well, you know, today could have gone very differently. If me 11 had won and me 2 had lost, we'd be looking at a very different table than the one we're about to see. If uh, Andy McH has managed to cobble it together. But basically, me 2 now on 10 points. No one can get more than 10 points. Uh, me 1 can only get 10 points. Uh, the other gay me and Irish me and Welsh me could potentially all get 10 points. It's all about the goal difference now. But look at that goal difference. Female me is going to have to crush me too next time they play. And any of those other players are really... I mean, the normal man, minus 14 after six games. Uh, gay me looking the nearest contender. He would need next week to beat me 10. That's going to be a very hard frame. And then he would need to beat in the last week, which is going to be a right fucking anti-climax. He's going to have to beat me seven. Two very tough opponents. Uh, and the likelihood is, you know, they'll all end up on about eight. So I think the very strong breeze has got it. That one loss. Who did he lose against? He lost against uh, me three, ironically. So me three, that... Uh, it's still not entirely over, but it's basically over. And uh, let's have a talk to... Let's talk first of all to me 31. Still Geordie B, amazingly. Um, could have been so different if Sam Beckett had come in. Here he comes. How are you doing? Why, I'm man, I'm feeling pretty good. Because, uh, you know, I got to play some snooker. And I uh, wasn't bad, was I? Got some shots in. Why can, can't people see my face, man? And... Oh, boy. Oh my goodness, the Sam Beckett's turned up. The table's still on my face. The Sam Beckett's turned up. And it's a bit late. Are you, how are you doing, Sam? What, what am I doing? Are we playing snooker? No, mate, you just missed it. You just missed the snooker. You lost 63-36. Uh, but I know mean, that's not fair. I've got to play the snooker. That I'm Sam Beckett me. Well, not this time, mate. You missed it. So the real Geordie me played it and he lost. Oh, fuck. I think I was meant to come back. I just fell asleep. And I just, you know, you got to rest up. And in my other body, I fell asleep. Then I went, oh, shit, probably have completed this mission. Better get to the next one. And, um, I mean, surely falling asleep wouldn't matter in one reality because you're coming to a specific time, aren't you? So if you've come to this time, that means you were meant to come to just after the frame. I don't know how it works, mate. I don't think it's very clearly explained, you know, especially given that me changing history doesn't change all of history. It just changes one thing, which doesn't make any sense. Um... But yeah, fuck, that's bad news. So what, I've still only won one one frame. Yeah, I mean, you won last week, well done. But to beat me three, and that was like, could could, could prove to be a, you know, very influential frame that, because me three is really in the running and you're beating him by 30 sets and setting back a long way. Um, and basically it meant me two is one without really doing anything. It's fucking ruined the whole thing, mate. Sorry. I'm sure I'd have turned up if I could. And... Let's talk to me too. It's going to be insufferable, but, um, you know. Oh, and I should, yeah, Ian Amazon, you're right, me 31 still on the highest break, but there is a, another one, two, three, four. There's another six matches to play, so anyone could get over 18. Just because no one's got over 18 in all the previous, however fucking many matches it is. Let's talk to me too. How you doing? I'm feeling brilliant, Richard. Thank you. Um, I mean, it's all. I'm all but crowned, aren't I? I'm all. I'm, you know, I'm crowning. You could say right now, um, which I'm about to give birth the trophy. Or I'm about to shit out the trophy. But whatever it is, I've won. Um, I'd like to thank my mum and dad. I'd like to thank um, the people who believed in me out there, the fans, the little kids with COVID. I'd like to thank them because I was thinking about them all the way through and how they'd feel if they if I lost. That's why I won. Uh, I'd like to thank Me One for being shit and uh, thus me being better than him. I mean, I think Me One could possibly catch you if you lose the next frame and he wins. I think um, if he beats Me 31, which he probably wouldn't, he could win that by a long way. It's still possible, isn't it? I think. Is it? I'm not sure. I think I'm way ahead. But um, I think he's only on six, isn't he? Or is he on eight? I don't know. Fuck him. He's not going to catch me, mate. I'm going to play very cautiously in the last frame and uh, just do enough to win. Um, almost perfect record. That's the only thing that gets to me. 
So thanks to all my fans. Um, I look forward to getting the trophy. Let's not. Let's wait until it's official. But it's official. One with a game to go. Uh, you know. So I don't want to get all tortoise in the hair hair hubristic about this hair hu hairbristic. But yeah, I've won. Ruined, haven't I? Durex will be furious. Well, you know, the thing is you can come too early, but Durex will still prevent uh, unwanted sexually transmit disease and pregnancies. So it doesn't matter when you come. Durex will be happy because this sort of shows if you do... You're unlikely to ejaculate early wearing a condom because it really ruins everything. Uh, the sensitivity and stuff. So really, I And mean, that's a good thing because it helps you keep going. Um, but um, it's really, really nice. It's nowhere near as good as just having sex without a condom. That's much, much better. Um, but uh, if you have to wear something, you buy not a Durex. When are they going to give me my two million quid? Uh, at the moment, it looks like Me Too and Me Thirty One are going to be the millionaires coming out of this. Uh, they played tonight. Me Too proved superior. Me One showed that he could still be a contender in this. It's up to the next frames next week. Me Three versus Me Ten and Me Four versus Me Seven. Me Four's out of it, but uh, if Me Seven can win. And heavily defeat them and then defeat me three. Or if me three can win and then defeat me seven. Or if me ten can win and then defeat me four. You know, it's all to play for in this very, very exciting and worth doing thing. That is good that you're watching. So thanks to Jurex UK for sponsorship. Thanks to Andy McH for, you know, having a go. Fucking useless prick. Thank you to Chris Evans. <laughs> Not that one. Thank you to uh, Jahang Your Butt, do you? Do you? Um... And uh, from me and all the me's. Maybe see you on Thursday for Twitch of Fun. And uh, it's goodbye from me and all the me's is what I'm trying to say. Goodbye.